Stella North jump. Florida comes out in a matchup zone. And speaking with Coach Driscoll of North Florida, he said they are going to try to change the D up. Garrett Sams has his pass deflected by Buddy Beheim, and here comes Joe Girard the third. He lobs it up. Sadibe gathers and gets it blocked from behind by Aminu. Flash Hughes to that area and see if they can go to work. Dolajai with the shot clock at two, able to convert. Well, though Syracuse doesn't get the bucket, that's another beautiful find by Joseph Girard. Gondea Rosa now with 998 career points. Been teamed a couple of years ago, but thanks to a micro fracture surgery back in high school on his knee. Well, there's a thousand points for Gondea Rosa. Got it quickly with back to back threes. Not Abrams, but. Well, they played a lot more man-to-man -man as we take a look at nice ball movement. The end result, Elijah Hughes with the uncontested layup. Dolezal needs to look to score right there. Nobody's guarding him at times when he gets the ball there. Hughes off the bounce for two. Go along with, I think, I believe he's a very good athlete as well, too, as we take a look at a deep three by J.T. Escobar. Escobar already has his degree in sociology, working on his master's at North Florida. Braswell gets into the act with his first three of the night. Gerard with a good look. He's on the board. Timeout. From beyond the arc from Syracuse. It's a 6-0 run for the Orange on consecutive threes. Looked like Hughes got a piece, and now on the run out, number 33 lays it off the glass and in. Give him nine points. The run is eight consecutive points, snapped by the triple from Escobar. With Red Autry, every time I see him, he big boyed me my freshman year along with Billy Owens. Yep. And that's when I got introduced to the weight room as we take a look at Buddy Bayheim. That's going to be key for him. Yes, we know he can shoot it. Yes, we know he can show, score. But I think defensively and then the decision he makes are going to be key for Syracuse. Improve. Obviously, understanding that point guard decision, make it. With five to shoot. Buddy Beheim gives it up to Dolajai, who puts it in. In the Atlantic Sun. Buddy Beheim all the way to the basket. I'm saying if they had painted those lanes orange right before the game, he'd be the only guy whose sneakers wouldn't have any paint on the soles. <laughs> and on the year, but my and that's goodness. Breakdown. Again, uh, that's too much airspace. Only going to get better as the season progresses. And while they don't have Cole Anthony, Syracuse looks to score in transition with Buddy Beheim. Make sure that their memory lives on and never forget. And they do it through scholarships for young people from Lockerbie. Garrett Sands with his first three. Looking to go one-on-one -on -one into the lane. No. Offensive rebound, Gourier. Puts it back up and in. The freshman from Quebec will have a chance for a three-point play. The adjustment that Syracuse makes. And that's a good start. And starting off the second half with a turnover. Buddy Behan. Nothing but net. Hendrickson to Aminu. Blocked against the glass by Sidibe. It comes to Escobar. Little strong, Aminu. Possession continues for the Ospreys. You give them enough opportunities and they're eventually going to knock one down. That's Hendrickson with his first three. Really dominating the offensive glass. Second chance opportunities has been the story in this game. Dolajai into double figures. Sam. Well, he was double teamed for a moment. Everybody backed off, and he looked up, and hey, I'm open. Why not shoot? They're spacing, and Syracuse, again, you have to respect the three point shooters. Dolajan with a chance for three. Acting actually want him to be more aggressive uh, on the offensive side. That man's certainly capable. Garrett Sams lining it up from the corner. That time by Buddy Beheim when he was shooting the three pointer. Hendrickson off the inbound for three. Who has 16 points in this game? He didn't play in the, against that team uh, against Florida State. And certainly, uh, they need more of that, though, if you're Syracuse. Quick catch and release. My goodness, Carter Hendrickson barely touched that basketball.
following year, as you saw, he's a two-time coach of the year. They went to the NIT after winning the regular season title. Escobar bottled up. Tend to shoot. Hendrickson up and over Sidibe. More ball, more. As opposed to shooting, uh, he is just one of those guys that likes to pass, but I think you're right. It hurts uh, the offense. And Sam's a four-year starter, ties the game. Sidibe high for the offensive rebound. Gerard gives it right back to him for the two-handed flush. Good ball movement to again get a good look from Sam. Couldn't connect. Day the offensive rebound. He lays it in. Columbus, Georgia reties the ball game at 54. Dolajai right to the basket. Isaiah Hughes who dribbles up. Behai off the shot fake. And he gets the roll. Gerard for three. Good. Four dribble drives. They've had some looks. I think the problem is Syracuse has found ways to score. The finger roll by Hughes. Beautiful athletic play that time by Eliza Hughes. Well, almost on cue, J.T. Escobar with his first points of the second half. Gerard. Good! Uh, he's made some nice passes in that first half. He could have had at least three or four assists. Sending film, watching film with him. Uh, I believe the future is very bright for him. We're seeing him get more comfortable in that position. Escobar, no. Another opportunity from out front is nailed by Gandea Rosa. Math guy, I know you share these guys are smart. Uh, by my estimation, that's 43s that they have taken in this game. Elijah Hughes will have a chance for three. Hughes gathers, shoots. You know, if you're an Atlantic Sun coach trying to convince somebody to come play, these kids, they want to ha have a chance to play at the Carrier Dome. And for a guy like Carter Hendrickson, who grew up in Lexington, Kentucky, you're the Ospreys, you got to go. Taking an awful lot of time to find a shot. It's good. After the Hendrickson triple, timeout call. Hughes, Sidney Bay on the alley -oop. And certainly it was a tough battle for them, but... Uh, Coach Beheim has to be pleased uh, that he's going to get out of here uh, with a W.